everyone this is vinita and welcome to hopeful turns in today's video we'll be seeing how to make these crochet amigurumi owls now you can use it as a decorative piece or you can add a keyring and use it as a keychain or even as a back charm now this piece here i am planning to use it as a christmas tree ornament so that's why i've used the traditional red and white color i thought it would look super cute on a christmas tree I'm actually planning to do one in white where white will be the main body and a little bit of red. Uh, I think it will make for a really nice uh, Christmas tree ornament. So if you're looking for one, I think you can give this a try. Okay, so let's see the supplies that you would require. Now for this pattern here, you can use any type of yarn. Uh, only thing you, that you might need to take care is to use a hook size, one or two hook sizes smaller than the recommended hook size. Okay. So here for this one here, I have used Ice Yarns Alara and this here is 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. Uh, so you can use cotton, 100% cotton or 100% acrylic, it's all up to you. And the recommended hook size for this is 4mm. So usually for a 4mm, I tend to use a hook size uh, anywhere from 2.5 to 3 mm crochet hook and for this pattern here I have used a 2.75 or size C crochet hook so whatever yarn that you're using just uh, take care to use a hook size smaller than the recommended one now apart from the main color you might need a contrasting color for the wings now this is totally optional if you want you can make everything in one color but i thought a little bit of highlight would be nice so that's why i've used a contrasting color you need very very less yarn for this and if you are embroidering your eyes you might need some black color uh, so for my tutorial here i'll be using i'll be showing how to do this one here uh, so that you can make it either as a sleeping eyes owl or a wide eyed owl so i'll be i'll be showing both of this so according to what your need is you can just adjust it so if you are embroidering it you might need some black eyes or and some scrap yarn for your beak so that is with regard to your yarn now apart from that let's see what you'll require yes you'll require a pair of scissors some stuffing so this is your polyfill uh, fiber stuffing now in case you do not have this you can add scrap yarn i do have this tendency of collecting all my scrap yarns so you can use this these kind of things also for your stuffing um, then you would require a yarn needle to weave in all the loose ends a stitch marker now if you do not have a stitch marker you can replace it with a bobby pin or a safety pin um, or just another color yeah anything will work fine then of course a safety eyes so this is an 8 mm safety eyes now if you do not have the safety eyes you can totally replace it with a button or as i said you can use black yarn and embroider it okay so these are the few requirements now if you're ready we can start but before that a small request if at any point in the video you like what you see please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if you're looking for really simple easy crochet amigurumi patterns or Christmas ornaments I do have a playlist I'll put all the links in the description box and if you are if at all you're making some patterns or some items with my patterns please do share or tag me on your Instagram or Facebook accounts I would love to see a picture of that so yeah let's start so we'll start this pattern with a magic circle so to make a magic circle you take your yarn loop it around your finger like an X once you have that, you take your hook, pass your hook through the loop that is there on your finger and pull your working yarn through like this. Once you're done with this, make one chain stitch. So I've made, I'm going to make one chain. So this will lock your magic circle. So this is how you do a magic circle. Now, if you want a detailed tutorial how to do the magic circle, you can click on the link that is coming up here. I have a very detailed tutorial on the making of magic circle okay so we'll start so we have a magic circle we have chain one now for round one we are going to put six single crochet into the magic circle so we'll do that so to make a magic sorry single crochet insert your hook into the circle pull up a loop you have two loops 
yarn over pull through both so this is my first single crochet like that I'll make a total of six so this is my second single crochet two three four five and one more six so our round one has six single crochet we had started with chain one that you just ignore that is just to lock your magic circle so we have chain one and then six single crochet i'm just going to pull my yarn here i'm not completely closing it i'll close it after my second round okay now we'll start our round two now in this we are not going to slip stitch every round we will be working in continuous round so our next round will go on the first stitch of the previous round so this here is my chain one this is my first single crochet okay so i'll just insert my hook into the very first single crochet of round one and there i'm going to put two single crochet so i'm going to make two single crochet this is one and into the same stitch i'll make one more so this is how round two is round two is an increase round so what i mean by increase is you will be putting two single crochet in every stitch so that is what an increase is so the first stitch has been made where we have put two single crochet at this point i'm just going to mark my very first stitch okay into the next stitch again i'm going to put two single crochet this is one into the same one another one two this is my third stitch here again i'm going to do an increase that is i'm going to put two single crochet in the same stitch come to your next stitch here again two single crochet like that in every stitch i'm going to put two single crochet and once you finish your round two you should be having a total of 12 single crochet so this is my fifth stitch where again i have put two single crochet and this is my very last stitch here again i am putting two single crochet so just make sure you have 12 single crochet in your round two so this finishes round two i'm going to take my stitch marker out and we can start a round three so the pattern for round three is going to be we'll make one single crochet and then make an increased stitch so one two one two is the pattern for round three so into the first stitch make one single crochet and into the next stitch put two single crochet that is we are going to do an increase so one and in the same stitch make another single crochet okay i'll just mark my stitch before moving forward so this is one single crochet i had followed it with, with an increase or two single crochet so i'll just continue with this pattern making one single crochet and then an increase so whenever i mention increase it just means that you have to put two single crochet in one stitch so i'll complete this and meet you at the end of round three and once you finish your round three you should have a total of 18 single crochet so here i'm at the end of my round three and i have a total of 18 single crochet at this time you can just close off your magic circle completely so just tightly pull on this and there are no more gaps here okay now we'll start with our round four now the pattern for round four is going to be uh, you have to make two single crochet and then an increase so one one two is the pattern that we'll be making for our round four all right so we'll start we will make one single crochet in the next stitch also we'll put one single crochet so two single crochets has we done one one and the next stitch that is the third stitch we are going to put an increase so we'll put two single crochet in the same stitch like this i'll just mark my stitch so it was one one two right here is where my stitch marker goes and i'll just go on repeating the pattern i'll make two single crochet and then an increase so this is one in the next stitch also i'll put a single crochet so this is one one and then make an increase so here i'll put two single crochet in the same stitch this is one and in the same stitch another one so like this i'll complete the pattern making one one two so that is the pattern i'll follow and once you finish your round four you should have a total of 24 single crochet so here i'm at the end of my round four and i have a total of 24 single crochet and whenever you're doing these rounds make sure that you're ending on an increase stitch all right 
So let's start our round five. So the pattern for round five is going to be three single crochet and then an increased stitch. So we'll do that. So into the first stitch, I'll make a single crochet. We'll make three single crochet first. So this was one. This here is my second single crochet, two and three. So here I have got three single crochet and then I will make an increased stitch. So I'm going to put two single crochet in the same stitch. So this is the pattern that I'll be following. I will make three single crochet and then an increase stitch. So I'll continue this pattern and meet you at the end of this round. And when you finish this round, you should have a total of 30 single crochet. So I'll finish this and meet you at the end of round five. So here I have finished my round five and I have a total of 30 single crochet. We will move on to round six. Now the pattern for round six is going to be four single crochet and then an increase. So we'll make four single crochet first. So this is one, two. So you have to make four single crochet and then an increase stitch. So this is one, two. This is my third stitch, three and four. All right, so here I have made four single crochet and then into the next stitch, I'm going to make an increase. So I'll put two single crochet in the same stitch. This is one and into the same stitch, I'll make another one. So this will be your pattern for this round. You'll make four single crochet and then an increase stitch. And once you finish your round six, you should have a total of 36 single crochet. So I'll make 36 single crochet and meet you at the end of round six. So here I'm at the end of my round six and I have a total of 36 single crochet. Now from round seven till round 15, you are going to do one single crochet in every stitch. So round seven till round 14, there are no more increases, just one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch. So do not forget to mark your first stitch otherwise it will be quite a mess so keep marking the first stitch of every round and all you have to do is you have to just make one single crochet in every stitch no more increases and every round from here from round 7 all the way up till round 15 you will have 36 single crochet in each of these rounds all right so I'll just keep making one single crochet in every stitch like this and as I said, you'll have 36 single crochet in every round. So I'll complete till round 15 and meet you at the end of round 15. So here I'm at the end of my round 15 and this is how this looks so far. Okay, now we'll move on to round 16. Now the pattern for your round 16 is going to be four single crochet, then a decrease stitch. So we'll do that. We'll make first four single crochets. So into the first four stitches make one single crochet each so this is one here is my second one like that I'll make four single crochet first so one two three and four so here I have got my four single crochet after this we are going to do a decreased stitch now for that I'm going to do an invisible decrease uh, if you want you can do a single crochet two together also but single crochet decrease stitch uh, invisible decrease kind of gives a very nice finished look so what we'll do is we will use the next two stitches the front loop only of the next two stitches and make the decrease so this is how you do you insert your hook into the first stitch through only the front loop so if you see there is a front and back both so i'm just inserting through the front loop only i'll just turn and twist my hook and just insert through the front loop of the second stitch also so now you have three loops on your hook you yarn over pull through the first two loops like this then again yarn over and pull through the last two loops so this is your single crochet decrease I'll show you once again so once this is over you just have to repeat the pattern you make four single crochet and then a decrease so in the next four stitches again make single crochet so this is one two three and one more four so here we have put four single crochet one single crochet in each of the stitches next we are going to do single crochet decrease so we'll use the front loop 
of the next two stitches so if you see there is a V stitch this is the front loop this is the back loop so we are inserting the hook only through the front loops okay so insert your hook into the front loop of the first stitch like this then insert your hook through into the second stitch only the front loop like this next you yarn over and pull your yarn through the two loops you have two loops left yarn over and pull through the last two loops so this will create your single crochet decrease like this i'll just repeat the pattern four single crochet and then a decrease stitch so i'll complete this and meet you at the end of this round and when you finish this this round you should have 30 single crochets all right so here I'm almost at the end of this round. I have to just put my last decrease stitch. So I thought I'll just show you once again. So you're, you'll always be ending on a decrease stitch. So I'll do the last decrease with you. So these are my last two stitches. I'll insert my hook through the front loop of the first stitch. And then I'll twist, turn and insert my hook into the front loop of the second stitch. Like this. All right. Now you have three loops. You have to yarn over pull through the first two loops only yarn over and pull through the last two loops so this will create your single crochet decrease stitch so if you find this single crochet invisible decrease really difficult you can do a single crochet two together stitch also that's also completely fine so if you want a tutorial of that you can just click on the link that is coming up here i have a separate tutorial on how to do a single crochet two together stitch okay now we'll move on to our round 70 so for round 17 the pattern is going to be three single crochet and then a decrease so we will make three single crochet first one two and one more three so we have three single crochets so it was one two and three and then I will make a decrease stitch so I'll use the next two stitches the front loop only so insert your hook insert your hook through the next loop as well just the front loop like this yarn over pull through the first two loops again yarn over and pull through the last two loops so this creates your single crochet decrease so like this I'll just finish off this round as well you have to make three single crochet and then a decrease so I have made my three single crochet then I'm going to do a decrease stitch so insert your hook into the front loop of the first stitch insert your hook into the front loop of the second stitch yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops okay so this creates your single crochet two together and I'll just finish off this pattern you just have to make three single crochet and then a decrease stitch and once you finish this round you should be having 24 single crochet so i'll finish this and meet you at the end of this round so here i have finished my round 17 and once you finish your round 17 you should have a total of 24 single crochet now round 18 19 20 is going to be the same for all the three rounds we are just going to make one single crochet in every stitch so make one single crochet in each of these stitches so this is one in the next one also just one single crochet like this in every stitch you just put one single crochet and once you finished uh, round 18 19 and 20 all these three rounds will have 24 single crochet so continue making just one single crochet in each of these stitches from for round 18 19 and 20 so I'll just go and continue this and I'll meet you at the end of round 20. So once you finish these rounds, you should be having 24 single crochet in each of these rounds. So I'll join you at the end of round 20. All right. So here I have finished till round 20 and this is how this look and basically our body is almost done. We just have to stitch this in. But uh, if you are planning to make the eyes with the help of your safety eyes and if you are planning to put the washer also you may need to join now before we do the filling uh, so we are just going to stuff here but if you are planning to 
use the washer you may have to stitch this uh, eye patch now itself so i'll put the timestamp where i'm going to make this so you can go there directly make this white color eye patch and you may have to stitch this in now so once you stitch this in you can use your safety eyes so once you stitch this in you can uh, push this in and then lock it with the washer from behind but I'm not going to use the washer since this is not going to be a toy I'll just use some super glue to fix the eyes and the other one I'll embroider I'll just do the embroidery okay so that's my plan so for that I'm going to do the stuffing now itself so once you are finished with round 20 and if you're going to use yarn for your eyes to just embroider it then you can stuff it now and then we'll stitch this in later so I'll just stuff this in first and when you're stuffing it make sure there is more stuffing towards the bottom you want the bottom to be a little bit more wider and towards the top you you know you don't need to stuff it in more you can just flatten it out okay so I'll just stuff this in first okay so here I have stuffed this in and if you see here I it is more wider at the bottom and towards the last three rounds I have kept it quite flat here okay so this is how I have filled it will sit nice and tight so try to put more filling towards the bottom okay now we'll stitch this up now how we are going to do is in the very first stitch we will put three single crochet in the next 10 stitches we'll put one single crochet and in the very last stitch we are going to put three single crochet again okay and we are going to use both these sides together so into the very first stitch that is here I'll take one stitch from behind also and make three single crochet so in the corners put three single crochet one into the same stitch make another one two and one more three it might be a little bit tighter but yeah I have put three single crochet in the very first stitch now in the next 10 stitches I'm going to put one single crochet each so I'll take one stitch from this side and one stitch from behind like this and then make a single crochet I'll make 10 single crochet joining both these two together two three So here I have put 10 single crochet I have just the very last stitch left so into the very last stitch here I'm going to put three single crochet okay so in the last stitch again I'm going to put three single crochet one here is my second single crochet two and one more three so three single crochet in the very first stitch three single crochet in the very last stitch and one single crochet in between okay so this completes our head or the body part now at this point I'm just going to cut my yarn here so you can cut your yarn and weave in the ends all right so this part is done now I'll just hide in this end and then we will start with the eyes so now we'll start working on the eyes so for that I've taken my white color yarn I'm going to make a magic circle first so I'll just pull my working yarn through and then chain one so I've made a magic circle I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to put six single crochet into the magic circle so make six single crochet exactly like we did for our body we are going to start with six single crochet so this is my second single crochet two three four five and one more six so I have put six single crochet for my round one I'll just pull on this end and now for round two we are going to do the exact same thing as we did for round two for the body we are going to put two single crochet in every stitch that is we are going to do an increase so into your very first stitch here put two single crochet so I'll just put my two single crochet this is one and in the same stitch I will put one more like that 
in every stitch around i will put two single crochet i think the white yarn is very difficult to see so if you find it difficult to understand you can just go back where we had started with the body you can the same two rows we are repeating the first two rows we are just going and doing it in white color so i'll make my 12 single crochet and then we'll slip stitch i'll show you once i finish making an increase round so here i have finished two rounds uh, the second round i've just made two single crochet in every stitch and i have a total of 12 single crochet and this is what is required for your eyes now what i'll do is i'll go into the very first stitch here and slip stitch so that will finish off your eyes at this point i'm just going to cut my yarn so i'll make a chain one and then cut my yarn and at this point i'm going to take a very long tail end because we have to stitch this in so when you're cutting make sure to have a very long tail all right so this is done so your eyes are almost done now you can use uh, the safety eyes or you can embroider it so i'll just show you how to make the sleepy eyes so for the sleepy eyes i'm going to take a black color yarn and i'm going to make the eyes here so what i'll do is i'll I'll use four stitches if you see you can find one two three four I'll use these four stitches to make the eyes so I'll just insert the needle into the very first there's a small gap you can find it out take it out go through the next gap and leave one and come out of this one so I'm just going to leave a stitch in between and come out of the fourth stitch here like this then I'll come from this stitch I'll again take my needle come out of this and go back again so this will create that small sleepy eye look alright so this is what it is you can just tie a knot and cut your black color yarn we will use the white color yarn to stitch it in so just leave it there and then we will stitch this up you just have to knot this down and cut your black color yarn so I've just double knotted it I'll cut my yarn because all this will get stitched up so don't worry you can just cut off all the excess yarns okay now we'll stitch this in so to stitch the eyes to the body I have already threaded in a needle here and now I'm going to place this eyes here but before that if you see here we have a small little projection so in order to smoothen it out I'm just going through the last stitch towards the back one stitch will be there I'll just go through it so as to flatten out the slip stitch that the chains chain one that we had done to lock this up so it will kind of flatten it out so the circle will be more round okay and then we will start stitching this up so we'll place our eyes like this I'll just go to the one of the stitches in the body and take my needle out then I will come through one of the stitches here and then push it out from here I will go into the body catch another stitch from behind under and take my needle out so you have to go stitch by stitch one stitch at a time once this is done you can come out of one of the stitches here like this and again push it down so make sure that there is a symmetry to it and then catch hold of one of the stitches from behind and push it out like this you can go around so here I have stitched in the eyes so I just went around one stitch at a time and this was my very last stitch and to finish this off I'm just going to poke my needle here and then come out from one of the stitches from behind like this and then what I'll do is I'll go through the same stitch and go in between and then come out from some other stitch so the yarn since it is white color I cannot go in and out so I'm just going inside and then coming out and at this point I'll just cut my yarn since it is inside it will not come out 
so it will just hide it in the stuffing that we have made okay so this ice has been made similarly i'll join the second ice and then i'll attach my safety eye so i'll just stitch this in and i'll show you how to attach the safety eye so here i have stitched in the other eye also and i'm going to take my safety eyes and push this in so you can go use a hot glue gun or a super glue to just glue this in and then you can push this in and if you find it really difficult you can use your hook and make, poke it inside so that you have a nice gap and once that is done you can just screw this in now if you want you can use both the eyes like this or you can you embroider the eyes both as a sleepy eyes or oh, it's all up to you so just wanted to show you both the method so that's why i'm using this all right so this is done so this is how this is like a one-eyed open owl here all right so that is how you do your eyes now we'll move on to the wings so we'll start with the wings here so for that i'm again going to start with a magic circle so make your magic circle first and then chain one so i have a magic circle i have chain one and now i'm going to put six single crochet into the magic circle so make six single crochet one two three four five and one more six so here i have got my six single crochet and now i'm not going to start working on the first stitch instead what i'll do is i will chain one okay and then i'm going to turn my work next i'm going to put two single crochet in each of these stitches here so into the very first stitch go there and make two single crochet so this is one into the same stitch i'll put another one so two single crochet goes in one stitch similarly in every stitch i'm going to put two single crochet so i'll have a total of 12 single crochet for my row two so this is one two three four five six like that i'll make a total of 12 so here i have made two single crochet in each of these stitches i'll just tighten this uh, and i have a total of 12 single crochet for my row two at this point i'm going to change my color now if you want you can continue with the same color but i'm just going to put a brown color so i'll take the new yarn so you, what you can do is you can cut your yarn off your yellow color and start with the next color but if you don't want to change color you can definitely go ahead and do that so i'm going to take my next color yarn i'll with the next color yarn i'm going to just pull it through like this i'll just slip stitch it all right and then what i'll do is i'll just tighten on so that it just attaches itself properly so here my new color is attached after this i'm going to chain one all right and then i'll turn my work now for row 3 the pattern is going to be one single crochet and then an increased stitch so what i'll do is i'll just take these both ends and i'll work on top of it so that i don't have to weave in it later so we'll start in the first stitch i'll make just one single crochet and in the second stitch i'll put two single crochet so go into the first, second stitch and make two single crochet so one two one two is the pattern for your row three and once you finish your row three you should have a total you will have a total of 18 single crochet so i'll complete this making one single crochet and then an increased stitch so in this stitch i'll put two like this all right and i'm just weaving over top of this so that i don't have to weave it in later so i'll just finish this and then we can stitch in the uh, wings so here i have finished my third round and after that i just cut my yarn and when you're cutting your yarn make sure to leave a long tail end because you need this to stitch this in okay so let's see how to stitch this in so i have already made one and i have attached this so we'll attach it to the second side so this is where i like to place my wings it will be almost on where your eyes are so i'll just bring it up a little bit now if you see the wings here it is made up of two colors so 
uh, my plan is to attach it only on this side this will not be attached it will be like open so that you can fold or bend the wings so i'm going to attach only on one part and that too i'll be attaching where my dark brown is because i don't want the stitching to show on the light uh, yellow color so that's what i'm planning to do so i'll take the yarn and then just pass it through one of the stitches on the body and come out like this again I'll go through the stitch here and come out I'll do it two to three times since I'm not going and attaching it over this place I really need to be sure that this is properly attached so once this is done I'll come to this next side and take my needle out and here again I will just go through the body two three times only through the brown yarn because as i said i am not comfortable the brown showing on the yellow color now if you are very concerned you can again attach the yellow color and go through this part also and if you want you can go around also but i just like it this way so i think this should be enough I'll go down and then come out through the back okay. and if you want you can just go once more just go through inside so that your yarn is actually lost in the stuffing okay this is done and you can cut your yarn off so whatever is showing you can use your needle to push this in okay, so our wings are ready now we'll move on now we'll work on the beak so for that i'm taking a red color yarn and then i'll just come from behind so between the eyes i'll just come here and take the needle out all right I'll just go about so here one two three four five about five stitches down I'll go and come back through the stitch here like a V so I'm going to go back and forth into the V kind of a thing so that will kind of make your beak so this is the V that I'm planning to cover so you might have to go a couple of times up and down so this is the V that I will be covering so I'll just go a few times up and down till I am almost able to cover the beak here so I'll just do that and then I'll show you how to do, uh, make the small little feathers on the head okay so I'll just complete this I'm just going back and forth in the stitch so as to make the beak So now we have just one last thing to do now this is totally optional if you want you can do that or you can totally skip i'm just going to add some small feathers on top of the head so that will go on the corners here so for that i have taken the same contrast color for the wings so this i have taken almost four strands of yarn this is about five to six inches long here and i'll just turn my work like this i'll use two strands at a time because i'm don't think I'll be able to pull four at a time so at the very corner stitch I'll insert my hook and pull these yarns out to the very last stitch like this you keep it like this again I'll take the second two strands and pull this out as well so I'll just poke my uh, hook through that stitch and pull these two out like this all right so if you see we have four loops here okay now what we'll do is we will uh, pull out all of these strands from this loop so I'll take this and pull it out like this 
and just pull it pull on it and it will just knot it down okay so that is done and you can now trim it off okay so if you see from the front you get a nice little knot and you can trim this down so i'll make the other one also and then trim it you don't need such big ones i'll trim it again once i'm done with the other end so i'll just make the same thing here so here i have finished both the sides and this is how this looks and our owl is all done so that was the tutorial how to do, do these crochet amigurumi owls i hope you liked it and you enjoyed it now if you liked it and if you're making it please do tag me on my social media handles i'll put all my links down in the description box so please if you're making this please do uh, tag me i would love to see what you have made and again as i said you can definitely use this as a christmas decoration so you can make a loop i just didn't make it so you can make a chain stitch a loop here and then hang it on your christmas tree or you can even use a key ring and attach it here somewhere here or what you can do is you can totally avoid these feathers and if you want you can put a key ring here and then use it as a keychain so yeah that's all for the tutorial here. I really do hope it was helpful to you. Now, if you found it helpful and useful, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. That's all for today's video. See you on the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.